The Honey Queen here, and what we're going to work on today is a night cream. I call it my dream cream. It's made out of beeswax, honey, almond oil, rose water, and we have optional, you can use frankincense, myrrh, or sandalwood essential oils. So the first thing we're going to do is talk about why this came about. I was tired of paying the high prices, and the night creams didn't work that well, so I kind of tweaked several recipes and then came one that worked for me. This is for great for dry seasons. Of course, it's way cheaper than any night cream you're gonna buy. And what I do is it lasts a long time. Like this size right here, this lasts anywhere from four to six months because you only use about the size of a dime. I've made it for gifts before and I do sell it if you wanna contact me on that. So first thing we're going to add in here, so I'll show you this up close. This is beeswax that I've grated. This is eight tablespoons, so I'm going to put that in here. And I like the pour because it's easier to pour once it gets melted into the container. And then you add one tablespoon of honey. Of course, I use Cox's honey. Pure, raw, essential, unfiltered. And it's clover alfalfa, so it's very light. So we'll put that in there. And then it calls for three-fourths a cup of almond oil. I just get mine now off of the um, Amazon store for everyone else. What I'm gonna do is I take this to the microwave and I'll melt it slowly, probably 15 seconds at a time until it's all melted. And then we'll be back with the rose water and the essential oils. Okay, so we're back. I've melted that. I did it about 15 seconds at a time and I am going to add the essential oil before I add the rose water and show you how it kind of works. I just believe in essential oils. Okay, so this is the rose water, and you add just a little bit at a time until it starts clumping. So, let's see that it's starting to clump in there. Oh, smell that rose water, it's just, it smells like you're walking with a bouquet of roses. Now, can you see that clumping in there? It's pretty cool, and you do that it's all absorbed you start getting this big huge glamour of it and then you cool it and you put it in jars this is great for the dry season and it doesn't something that doesn't even take all the rose water but it is extra dry and hot out here today so you just keep stirring that and eventually it's going to look like this when it cools you don't even have to really stick it in the refrigerator, although I usually do before I sell it. But I use like mine that night. And you just keep stirring that until it works. So it's pretty awesome. I call it my dream cream. And when it cools, I'm gonna place it in these jars right here. I hope my grandkids found a little bee. You put that on your face every night. Or actually, I know a lot of women that use it they use it all the time. So you see how it's starting to thicken up right there? Yeah. It does, it, when it cools down, it's going to be totally thick and absorbed. And that's it. So be sure to subscribe to my channel, share, and follow me on Facebook page and my Instagram. I also have a Honey Queen group. If you have any questions or there's a YouTube you want to see, I'll do that. I do put these recipes on Pinterest, so you can find them there. Have a sweet day. I'll zoom in at the end here and show you how thick it's getting. As soon as it cools, it'll be really, really thick.